Hey everybody, it's Kip T. Sword. Sorry it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, and I just wanted to kind of clarify something that I posted earlier. Well, here's the thing. You, you've heard me say over the years, I get so frustrated that there is no type of real awareness campaign going on in the United States for violence. Other countries have it. I mean, uh, whether it be Australia or the UK, uh, they have everything from, you know, uh, television spots. Um, yeah, sorry, you can see Bella Walker back there. But they may have television spots, newspaper articles, uh, sides on the, the side of buses, whatever about attacking EMS or healthcare for that matter. Well, um, without something that, that went directly to DT for EMS, I thought, man, if uh, we could get people to do something that would at least make people can consider what's going on and, and share something. And so what I thought of was using our saving yours while you save others. And since we already have this, um, you know, even if you just pasted it on even, you know, I did something like this, I shared it on a couple of, uh, of other pictures earlier, whether it be writing it on your hand, uh, the, the shirt, there could be uh, endless options, taking it and uh, putting it on a piece of paper, putting it next to, you know, a life pack, putting it next to the stretcher, uh, whatever it may be. The point is, is you don't have to direct it back to DT4EMS.com. The whole thing that I would love to get people to do is go, what is this whole, you know, S Y W, you know, Y S O what in the world does that mean? And cause that's all they really need to see. And hopefully that will get them thinking about it is just as important for their safety to be a priority. They need to be saving themselves as much as they are saving a complete stranger. And so, so uh, we know that violence affects people, not just in the physical realm of, of what happens on a scene at that one moment in time, but all of the stuff that goes on after the fact with whether it be PTSD, depression, um, you know, I've even talked to people that have made comments about contemplating suicide because of the, the way they had been treated in medicine over the years. And, uh, you know, again, why ask the ENA, the Emergency Nurses Association, why so many emergency nurses leave the field? Well, guys, if we can, and gals, if we can get people to just think about saving their own while they're saving others. And so the whole idea of simply you know, using this, these simple letters of the S-Y-W-Y-S-O and getting people to go, what does that even mean? If they will at least search for it or ask you what it means, then you get a chance to say, hey, look, it's about saving yours while you save others. We've had that in our, uh, you know, our slogan since I don't know when. I mean, look, it's it's been around the logo for quite some time. Um, if we could just get people to think about it and then they start to consider, because remember, guys, peer pressure is huge huge. It's why we already have the problems with the use of force in medicine that we have right now. It's why the first four hours of our class are the way that it is to try to strip away the culture, the ridiculousness of culture that is preventing our people from being safe. And so the moment we get people to at least consider that their safety is even remotely important, you know, like they do, what I'm saying regarding violence, like they do for, you know, a hazmat scene or a flash flood or a high angle rescue or a, a fire, any of those other situations, even gloves or bloodborne pathogens, uh, you know, being worried about a needle stick, all of those things our people will accept. But by golly, when it comes to the use of force and violence, oh man, oh, you know, well, well, we're too, we're too tough to talk about that. Or we're, you know, we're, we, you know, no, or we do it this way or that way. So the moment we can get people to really, and I mean, really uh, consider their own safety when it comes to the use of force and violence in medicine uh, for even a moment, just getting them to consider it for a moment begins to open the door for them to at least talk about that dirty little secret in medicine. So this is why I think this awareness campaign, just using these simple letters, may make all the difference in the world. You don't have to share this video. You don't even have to share something from the DT for MS Facebook page. What I'm asking you do is that you when you write it on your hand or when you put it next to an ambulance or whatever you share it someplace, um, you know, let me have a copy of it, you know, make sure I'm aware of it, that it even exists because it can at least help us further the, the message. You can remain completely anonymous, whether you want to be in the picture, giving a thumbs up, you know, with something, um, showing that you're supporting uh, the fact that others want to be safe. I'm good with that. If you, if you don't want to, uh, 
you know, put yourself in the picture and just use your hand or, you know, again, on a piece of paper next to the life pack, the cot, a, cr a crash cart, whatever, uh, I'm good with that too. So uh, the point is, is we just want people considering what is this saving yours while you save others? What is it all about? The moment they do that, whether they choose to use us or not, I still think it can make a difference. If nothing else, every single person that sees your uh, picture or your video or whatever you decide to do with it, it makes them consider. And you may make the difference in that one person that may have never met me that turns around and says, it is not okay that I be attacked on the job. It's not part of my job. It's not accepted in any other profession. We shouldn't be accepting it in ours because you know what? We are the only profession on the planet. Police officers get assaulted, they can charge someone. A prison guard gets assaulted, they can charge someone. You know, you can go on and on and on. Uh, we are uh, just encouraged not to, even though laws exist, um, everybody, including OSHA, is now uh, aware. OSHA is now starting to find people. So guys, making those frontline staff understand um, my safety is just as important as anybody I take care of. So, hey, thanks for the five and a half, oh, almost six minutes of your time. I'm Kip T-Sort. Thank you so much. And uh, let's start, you know, getting this awareness campaign out there. See you soon.